It's finally time to start my primary bathroom remodel and I could not be more excited. To try and get ahead of this renovation project in today's video, I will be showing you how I build the base cabinet for my future bathroom vanity. I've built cabinets before on my channel, but I thought that this would be the perfect opportunity to go through the fundamental steps on building any base cabinet. Here's what my main bathroom looks like right now. I shared with y'all in last week's video the mood board for what I want this space to feel like. I will be building this vanity out of oak. I was able to pick up two sheets of oak plywood for my local Lowe's. Unfortunately, it looks like this will be the last time I will be asking them to cut it for me because not only was it cut one eighth of an inch too short, assuming that they didn't count for the blade size, they also told me that they don't do project cuts and I am only allowed two cuts per sheet. So to avoid any future drama or issues, I would just avoid doing that and just do it when I get home. The first thing I did once I was home was cut my plywood down to size and all of the cuts they did for me ended up being 20 and 1 8 of an inch wide. I then took those and cut them down to have 4 at 35 inches, 2 at 11 inches, and 2 at 23 inches. Next it was time to add the toe kicks. I have a 3 inch by 4 inch scrap piece I used to trace the toe to cut out on the corner of all four boards that measured at 35 inches tall. I used my jigsaw to cut them out. June's journey is going to give me a quick break from building and relax for a bit because they're kindly sponsoring today's video. June's journey is a hidden object mystery game based in the 1920s. June Parker, the main protagonist, is on a quest to solve the murder of her sister, taking you through a thrilling mystery story. June's journey is available for free to download on mobile devices so it makes it even easier to be able to play anywhere. It's made it very convenient for me because I've mostly been enjoying playing as a way to relax when I need a mental break from building or any other remodeling. It's been a great way for me to relax and reset if I'm feeling frustrated, impatient, or just overwhelmed with my work. Finding clues and mystery objects has been the most fun for me all while earning flowers and coins. Now that my mind is refreshed and I've gotten my dose of June's journey, let's get back to building. To connect all the bottom boards to my standing boards, I created pocket holes on the boards that will sit at the bottom of the vanity. I made sure to create the pocket holes on the side that was 20 and 1 8 of an inch. Since all the bottom boards will share a standing board where I will screw into, I wanted to make sure that the smaller bottom board didn't have the pocket holes going across the exact same spot the other board sits since it sits in the middle. It probably makes more sense once I put it all together, but I laid them all down and then marked where I would be placing my pocket holes. To put everything together, I use glue and the pocket hole screws. Remember to line up the board from where your toe kick begins like this. From the back part where I don't have the toe kick cut out, I use the same scrap piece as a guide to make sure I secured it at the same height. Once I attach the first board, it's easier for me to attach the rest by laying it on what is supposed to be the back. I repeat the same process, making sure to line up the toe kicks.
If you were building a basic one compartment base cabinet, you would have been done at this point and could move on to the support boards. But mine is going to be a three compartment vanity, including drawers for that smaller middle space. Now it's finally time to add support boards, which includes the ones that you would use to attach your cabinet to the wall and to the vanity top or sink. I ripped these down using leftover plywood I had from the two sheets. I usually will rip them down to three and a half inch wide pieces. For the top support boards, I did however cut those down to one and a half inches because I didn't want them to be in the way of the sinks when I placed my vanity top. Your support board should be cut to measure the same length as your main bottom board or boards, in my case 23 inches and 11 inches. I created pocket holes on either end and then began attaching them. For the top ones, you want to add it or them to sit flush with the front of the cabinet like this. Make sure to attach them with the pocket holes towards the top so they won't be seen from the inside of the cabinet. Attach the back top one the same way and then begin adding the back ones that will be used to attach to the wall. I do one on the top and also one on the bottom. I will not be adding a back panel but you totally could if you wanted to. This middle back won't be seen at all once the drawers are in but the sides you will be able to see but it's up to you, it doesn't bother me at all. I repeated the same steps until all the support boards were attached. Next, I needed to cover the bottom toe kick so I wouldn't have to worry about the floor space being open and it being hard to reach to clean. So I cut down another scrap piece of plywood at 4 inches, remember the height of the toe kick, and then cut the pieces down to the appropriate length. For me, that meant two 23 inch pieces and one 11 inch piece, and creating pocket holes once again on each end. To make it easier to attach these boards, I turned the cabinet to sit on its top side. I attach the boards the same way using glue and pocket hole screws. And that's it. At this point you have a base cabinet fully built. I will be adding face frames and inset doors for a more high end look, but I'm going to wait to do that until a couple of weeks once I get it into the space where it will go. Next week I will be demoing and the real work will begin. Be sure to follow along to watch me build this vanity in its entirety and see the restroom be completely changed. If you don't already follow me on Instagram, then you probably don't know, but come June, we will be adding a new assistant manager to the team, and we are so excited. I'll see y'all next week, ready to demo this bathroom. Bye!